Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to make a evaluation with users. This video is also available in Spanish. Well, this is a testing tool. It got the following characteristics. It is a tool that evaluates the response and a sentence of a prototype of a product service by their users. It's made to evaluate the acceptance and appropriation that a user or a group of users have to the product or service proposal development. This tool is used in the testing phase of a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology. To develop this evaluation properly, you must be very objective by analyzing users' information and response, and if the product or service presents problem, must be adjusted and returned to their previous phases. To be retold, otherwise you must continue to the implementation phase. Okay, so when we talk about evaluation with users, this tool is extremely important. It's one of the most important tools in design thinking. So the first thing that you need to know is what are you going to evaluate? You basically have three possible scenarios, a product, a service, or a business model. So before you get to evaluate it, you have to talk very well and you have different alternatives. The idea here is that you test all your options and realize and analyze which one is the better one. So after you know what kind of testing are you going to make, the next thing is to make a focus group. At least 10 people, you need at least 10 users to evaluate your product, service, or business model. After that, you are going to put everyone and you're going to say, where are you going to meet? If it's a product, it's necessary that uh, the person have a uh, touch. So if you are doing it personally, you can give it to them. But if you are making link long distance, you have to send it. Also a place, where are you going to meet with all the focus focus group people and also the idea here is that you evaluate the acceptance that you got if a person says I don't feel it I think as did that and that okay that is just one opinion that is why the minimum for a make a focus group is 10 people but you can make 30 40 and you will have a bigger and better uh, response also to see the appropriation it means that if people start developing feelings through the development and also if it's linked to a possible loyalty strategy for the selling. Also very important to analyze the use. If people can find all the resources in an easy way or it got to be retaught. After you do this, you will have a result and the result could be positive. It means that you pick one of the prototypes that you come from the previous stage or you need to go back and re the development that is possible and it's better if you do it at this stage because if you just want to get an approval and continue to the implementation stage and if this part is not validated properly you could have a serious issue because the sellings and the response could be no objective. So it's very important that you understand this situation and take the best option if you need to retort or if it's properly at acceptance. As a conclusion, we can say that at the end of developing the evaluation with user, you should have a clear idea if the product, service, or business model is ready to be launched or needs to be retort. The tools allows to know if the development is the right or wrong and if it will work better with something else. The key in developing this tool is to have a good evaluation with user, is to be very objective, ask a lot of questions, and very important that people speak up their mind and tell what they really believe, that they don't feel pressure for anything, just that the person says, okay, I think this is good, this is bad. And if they make a suggestion of a change, you have to really listen because you could be on into something really important. 
Thank you so much. I hope this video was a big help for your development. Please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7. Follow us on social media. Remember that we have already our courses in the Udemy platform. In the description of this video is the link. And also remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish and every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.